if I am not mentalizing, uh, then it's not simply uh, me taking what I'm thinking uh, overly seriously. It's also taking any negative thought that I have about myself as if it was completely real. So this morning I, I woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, yet again, Fonagy, you just don't look so good. You really look just a little bit off. And I thought about having to appear in front of a camera and you know, I thought, this is not going to be good. It's going, I'm going to be humiliated. Uh, I then thought, yeah, maybe you look a lot better than you think that you do because it's just a thought. Now imagine if I thought that was real, if I thought that was, I really looked bad. Now I'd feel terrible because I couldn't set it aside. And I think what you have with individuals who have um, BPD is that incapacity to put something aside, to treat it as just a thought. For the moment that they feel it, it is the only thought and it is absolutely and completely real as real as any aspect of physical reality. Because the distinction between mental reality and physical reality is lost. I cannot help but do, at those moments, just anything desperate that would get me out of that feeling. I'm shut in somewhere that's intolerable to be, but it's like, it's like being in solitary confinement over years compressed into a few seconds. That's really the experience I'm trying to, to describe for the people who feel it. The people who feel it themselves will struggle to put it into words because at the moment that they feel it, they have no words. And by the time they recover the words, they only have a memory of that experience that's really not quite the same as the feeling was at the time it was felt.